Hello, everyone. I'm Quanzhou from the University of. Uh, does uh, can anyone see the video? Yes. Okay. Yes. China. It is my honor to introduce my paper. Field enhanced MLP is all you need for sequential recommendation. I will first introduce the background of this paper. What is sequential recommendation? In real world platforms, the user's behaviors can be a sequence of items. And this task aims to capture the useful sequential patterns from the user's historical behaviors for recommendation in the next term. To accomplish the sequential recommendation task, Existing works has proposed a search of special architectures for capturing the sequential patterns in the user behavior history. And the early works have proposed recurrent neural network based models and convolutional neural network based models. And recently, graph neural network and transformer based models have also been proposed. Transformer-based models such as SAS rank and buffer rank have achieved the state-of-art performance in sequential recommendation tasks. As we overview the development of the sequential recommendation models, we can see that the proposed models have become more and more complicated and over more parameters, especially for the transformer-based models SAS rank and buffer rank. The two models incorporate multi head self attention layers that incorporate a number of parameters to capture the item item interactions in the user inter interaction behaviors. In this way, although the model also can capture the more features in the user interaction history, but the overfitting risk is also increased. In fact, the online user behaviors are not as clear as what we think. And some logged user behavior data are essentially noisy, even containing malicious figures, such as the data poisoning, attacking, and touching by mistakes, and purchase by mistakes. Such noisy data should not be fitting by the model, and should be distinguished and, re and reduced to influential on the model performance. However, the complicated models own the powerful fitting capacities, which makes them easy to all fitting into this noise. Therefore, our, our goal in this paper is to increase the robust terminals to noise data and simplify the model structure. To achieve our goal, we consider to borrow the idea of filtering algorithms to attenuate the noise in the user interaction history. Filtering algorithms can reduce the influence of noise in sequential data and has been widely used in the digital signal processing field. Just as in this case, given the sequential data, we first process it by the Fourier transform to get the, spart the spectrum representations in a frequency domain. And then we utilize a filtering algorithm to denoise it and get the denoised representation. The denoise representation will be fed into the inverse Fourier transform to get the denoise sequence data. In this way, we can attenuate the noise in the frequency domain and finally get the denoise sequence data. To verify it, we conduct a set of motivation studies. The first motivating study is to validate if the filtering algorithms can increase the robustness of sequential recommendation models to noisy user behaviors. So we combine the filtering algorithms with GIO4 rank and SAS rank. Specifically, we add the filtering algorithms after the embedding layer of the presentation method to reduce the noise within the atom embeddings. We select ion based model GIU for rack and transformer based model SAS rack. Just as in this case, given the atom sequence, we first get the atom embeddings by the embedding layer and then use the faster Fourier transformation to get the spectrum representation of each feature in the atom embedding sequence. Then we use a set of filtering algorithms to denoise representations. After that, we also conduct the inverse fast Fourier transform to get the denoise item embeddings. 
Finally, the denoise atom embedding will be fed into the RN thin or transform layers to get uh, the sequential patterns for recommendation. Here, we select three filtering algorithms high passing filter, low passing filter, and a band stop filter. The high passing and the low passing filters passes higher or lower frequency signals and attenuates lower or higher frequency ones. The band stop filters attenuate signals with medium frequency and passing areas. Just as in this table, we can see that after combining with these filtering algorithms, the performance of the two models can increase in most settings. It indicated that the atom embedding in the matrix actually contains noise, and a proper filtering algorithms can elevate its influence on the condition performance. Based on these findings, we consider can we further simplify the model structures with the help of filtering algorithms? So, we consider to remove the multi head self attention layers from the transformer based model such rank, but add a filter layer after the embedding layer, just as in this finger. In this way, without the multi head self attention layers, such a model is an LMLP model. Just as in this finger, we can see that these all MLP variations can still perform well, even better than the Sasrank model, and especially the ones with low pass frequency. We can see the model with low passing frequencies that can outperform Sasrank in a large merge. It indicates that it is promising to design an effective and efficient OMLP models with a proper filtering algorithms for sequential recommendation. According to these findings, we can conclude that with proper filtering algorithms, an OMLP model is enough for the sequential recommendation task. However, a new problem comes up with how to design the most proper filtering algorithms. As we know, the key of the filtering algorithms is the width of signals with different frequencies. Just as the high pass filters and low pass filters, we can see that the high, the high frequency signals or the low frequency signals are assigned with a high width, but the others are assigned with a low width. So, if we can learn the width of the filters by the gradient from this task, maybe we can optimize the whole framework with an end-to-end -end architecture. Based on this hypothesis, we consider to propose a new model. It is an all-MLP sequential recommender with learnable filters, namely FMLP record. In our model, we replace the multi header self attention layers of transformer with the filter layers. And in the filter layer, we incorporate the multiple learnable filters that can be optimized by the gradient. Specifically, in the filter layer, we design learnable filters with FFT and the inverse FFT. Just as in this case, given the input in, the, in this layer, it is usually a sequence of item representations output from the last layer. We first perform the FFT to get the spectrum representations in the frequency domain. And then we perform the element-wise multiplications between the filters with the sequence representations in the frequency domain. After that, we use the inverse FFT to recover the, the denoised sequence representations. Then, our produced the denoised sequence representations will perform the residual connection and layer normal with the original representations. In this way, we can see that we only perform the multiplication between the spectrum representation of the sequence and the filters in the frequency domain. According to the convolutional theory, the multiplication in the frequency domain is equivalent to the circular convolutional in the time domain. The circular convolutional has the following advantages. First, it can capture sequential characteristics. Second, it has a larger receptive field on the entire sequence. Third, it can better capture particle patterns, which are essential for the conditions in the use of behaviors. Last, it has less time complexities with 
um n for multiply and um n log n for FFT and IFFT. In this way, we can see we achieve both less time complexities but a larger receptive field. To verify the effectiveness of our proposed FMLP record, we conduct experiment on the following eight data sets. And we also compared our model with a number of baselines, including CN-based, iron-based, GN-based, and transformer-based. Here are the, the results on data sets containing user transaction records. We can see that in most settings, our model outperforms all the baseline models in a large margin. This table shows the results on session based data set. We can see that our model also outperforms even all the baseline models in all settings. And we also conduct an ablation and variation analysis of our pictures. We can see that removing any components of our model, the performance will drop. And our proposed learning ball filters can also outperform the classical filter algorithms such as high pass filters and low passing filters and band stop filters. We are also applying our proposed learning ball filters to other models such as the RM based, CN based, transform based, and GN based. We can see that after combining with our proposed learning ball filters, the performance of these models can be further boosted. This is the training curve of our model compared with SASRANC. We can see that with the going of the epochs, our mod, the training loss of our models can currently better and the performance on the test set are also better. In this part, we show the visualization of our learned filters. In these pictures, the yellow part denotes the low frequency zone and the paper part denotes the high frequency zone. In this way, we can see that our proposed model always assign a high weight for the low frequency signals. It indicates that our process is just as a low passing filters. We also compare our model with other methods under the four sort settings, and we can see that our model can also outperform all the models in most settings. In this paper, we have verified that a filter enhanced MLP is all you need for sequential recommendation. And our contribution are summarized as following. First, this is the first time that filtering algorithms and the all MLP architectures have been applied into the sequential recommendation task. Second, we propose FMLP record a filter enhanced all MLP models for sequential recommendation. It is simple, effective, and efficient. And we also conduct extensive experiments on eight real world datasets from different scenarios for sequential recommendations. Experiment results show that our FMLP records outperform the state of art RN, CN, GN, and transformer based models. Thanks for listening. Our data and code are available in this website. Uh, thank you, Kun. Uh, do we have any uh, questions for Kun? Mm, thanks, Musen. Do everyone has any questions? Uh, hello, uh, can you hear me? Yep. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, 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 great talk. Uh, I have one question. Uh, Indeed, MLP is uh, very successful as you're showing in your work. I wonder uh, whether it's, uh, enough, it's fair enough uh, with the uh, same parameter size or same flows as showing in computer vision or natural language process. Uh, in their area, flows and the parameter size is also uh, key um, metrics when evaluating the, uh, the design model? Uh, this is my question. Oh, okay. 
um, in our experiment, we have compared that um, the the parameter numbers of our model is similar as the the state of our model sub rank, and we have very similar parameters, and uh, um, and the time complexity are also very similar, because uh, as um, let me think. Um, in our experiment, we conducted uh, uh, our, our model uh, courages very quickly, and uh, in in each epoch of uh, of the training, uh, the time cost is similar. So I think, um, um, although we have not conducted any um, any analysis about uh, the parameter numbers and the time complexities, but uh, um, it can be easily concluded from our, our released code. Thanks for your valuable question. Okay, oh, thank uh, thanks for your patient feedback. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Any more questions? Okay. Yeah, I could maybe have a quick question. Say for the for the filter, say how, I mean intuitively how do you, how do you choose the filter? Say low pass, high high pass, or band pass. Let's say what's the intuition behind it? Why it works better? Okay, and that's a good question. Um, uh, why we selected the three uh, filter algorithms? It is all based from our, um, um, I have said, from our limited knowledge about uh, the signal processing field. Um, because uh, the three filtering algorithms are very popular and have been widely used in the signal processing field. So we think the, uh, the three filtering algorithms are easy to implement and uh, can be really combined with the existing um, sequential computation models. So we select them. And during our experiment, we find that um, since these models have used the, the expert knowledge to define the, the width of the filters. So we propose to use a learnable filters in our model. That is why we finally developed the FMLP record that are based on learnable filters to process the noise. Thanks for whatever questions. Thank you, Kun. 